iOS 26.0.1 has been released and this is the first update to iOS 26 since its release. Of course, we have iOS 26.1, but that, that is still on beta. The first public update of iOS 26 is finally here. And in this video, I will show you guys everything that is new with this update. But before I get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot. Now, first of all, the size of the update, as you can see right here, is quite big. It should come to your device at around 7 gigabytes. That will be of course different on different devices, but expect it to be somewhere around here, which is really, really big. And of course, there is a new build number, 23A355 is the new build number for iOS 26.0.1. So what's new and what has changed with this update? Well, of course, these updates will bring mostly fixes and not new features. First of all, we have a fix for the iPhone 17, 17 Air and the 17 Pro models where Bluetooth and Wi-Fi may just occasionally disconnect. If you have one of those devices and have that issue, make sure you update your device. And there's also a number of users that have been reporting not being able to actually connect to the seller network after updating to the new iOS 26, well, that should be fixed with this update as well. So expect that problem to be fixed with 26.0.1. And also there is a problem with the camera while taking pictures with the new iPhone 17, 17 Air and 17 Pro. Well, basically photos taken under certain light conditions may just unexpectedly include different artifacts that has been fixed as well. Also app icons may appear blank after adding custom tint. So you add custom tint or even it has happened with the liquid glass effect. They will just appear blank. That actually has been fixed. So that's really great news and that has been fixed for all devices. And also the voice over being disabled for some users after updating to iOS 26. There is also another thing that has been fixed by this update. So these are the new changes and fixes that iOS 26.0.1 will bring to your device. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is it for this one. This is the new iOS 26.0.1. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next one.